what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial. I don't want to chit chat too much, but I do want to fill you guys in on some things that I have been thinking about, stuff that I want your opinion on. I have been thinking about starting something up on my channel called Tutorial Tuesday. Essentially, it would be any kind of tutorial, but dedicated to Tuesday every week. So let me know down below if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, I'm going to test the waters with it this month, maybe do something every Tuesday this month. I don't know if it's something that will be kept up with weekly or every other week, but let me know down below what you guys think of something like that. I just think it'd be really cool because I feel like tutorials are so hard to come by. I feel like a lot of YouTube has become clickbait. It's just shocking titles, shocking thumbnails, bad reviews, and I feel like that has become so popular. I get that there is a place for that because there are so many beauty YouTubers that are rumored to just like products because they want to be noticed by a brand. I actually got accused of that recently. I'm like, dude, really? I have rants on my channel, anti-hauls. My channel is in no way a brand pleasing channel. That has never been my goal. And I think I make that pretty clear. So let me know what you guys think about that. This tutorial was actually inspired by a couple of things. So I posted a photo on Instagram of a look that I did and I will share it with you guys right now. This look here. And a few of you actually said that you wanted a tutorial on it. Now what inspired that look is actually an idea that my mom gave me. She sent me a message and she said, it would be really cool if you did a Bob Ross inspired makeup tutorial. So I started looking through his paintings and I thought, oh my God, like the way that he blends is just so parallel to makeup to me. Like it speaks to me, it's inspiring. And I thought that that would be an amazing idea. And this painting actually is what inspired this eyeshadow look. So I thought this is perfect. I will sit down, kind of do like a chill tutorial with you guys, not like ASMR or anything like that. Something that is relaxing, easy to follow along to. And you guys, that look might look like it's somewhat complicated, but it's not, I promise. So the look that I'm creating was actually done using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I only used one other product outside of this palette, and I will show that to you guys. It is by no means anything that you have to do, but to me, it just added a little bit of extra something to the look. With that being said, let me go ahead and zoom you guys in to an uncomfortable zoom, and then I will give you guys step-by-step -step on how I created this look. So I'm not gonna name the shades offhand because I don't know the shade names. It's not printed on my palette or on the back. I ordered mine from the original launch. So I will put down on the screen the actual shade names. All I have on my lid right now is some concealer. I use the Maybelline Age Rewind and some translucent powder. So the very, very first shade I'm gonna use, as always, is this one here. Now I actually remember this shade name. This is Silk Cream. And I'm picking it up with this Morphe brush. This is the M433. I actually got this in an Allure beauty box and I love this brush. It was actually in Jaclyn Hill's favorites. So it was like a box that she curated and I just, I love it. It's a natural hair brush, but I feel like the way that it just like disperses product is so incredible. Maybe I'll even hold the palette like a painter, you guys, just to keep going on trend with the whole Bob Ross thing, like an actual palette, because it is a palette. So I'm just going to fluff that into the crease, and I kind of bring it up and outwards a little bit. I have very hooded eyes. Like, when I open my eyes, that means, like, you can't really see anything, so I have to fluff shadow out. All right. So the next shade I'm going to use, I want to go ahead and create, like, that sunset. So I'm going to dip into this kind of yellowy shade here using the same brush. I'm going to point the brush more like this and very gently work that into my crease. I feel like this kind of lets all those warm tones kind of melt into it and makes for like a perfect, 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 perfect gradient for the shadows. Perfect. So as you can see, we're kind of getting things going here creating a beautiful base for that warm look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take more 
of a tapered brush. This is from Delium Tools. This is the, what is this? The 783 small tapered brush. I'm now going to go ahead and dip into this kind of shade right here. It's a little bit more of a warm, rusty, kind of maroon shade. Now I probably didn't even need to dip in that much because this palette is so freaking pigmented. So wish me luck. So I'm gonna go ahead and with a gentle hand, I'm gonna keep it very into the crease. Just go ahead and start to work that in very gently. I wanna keep that in the crease and rolling it a bit on the outer corner. And I'm very patient with eyeshadow. This is probably what takes me the longest out of anything in my makeup routine. You have to be patient because if you just go in with a heavy, harsh hand, you're not gonna have a good look and the colors will not be blended. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to really getting things deeper and fiery and bronzy looking. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this shade up here. I'm just gonna use that same brush. Now with this one you have to be really careful because it's very pigmented. Keeping the brush pointed this way directly into the crease. Just start working that in. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even have to dip back in. It's so freaking pigmented. But the great thing about this palette, you guys, is that things just blend so effortlessly. All right, so now that we have our shadow laid down, I'm gonna go back in with that original brush that I was using, the M433. Clean it off on my color switch. I'm gonna dip back into Silk Cream. I'm gonna use this to kind of get everything on the edges blended out. So let's go ahead and work on the outer corners. This is my favorite brush to work on the outer V of the eye. This is the Lamora blending brush. It just looks like this. It doesn't have a number or a name, but this, you guys, if you're looking for an affordable eye brush set, I'm gonna link it down below. I've shared it with you guys before, but it is a really, really good set. So actually to deepen the outer corners, I'm gonna dip in to this brown shade over here. Just dab that down on the outer corners. All right, so I want to bring out a little bit more of the orangey shade. I feel like this is looking a little bit too rusty for me. So I'm gonna dip back into this kind of mustard yellow. I'm gonna try to work that on top just to kind of brighten things up and give it more of that fiery tone. I'm gonna go right on top. And as you can see, it's definitely transforming it. I wanted to recreate that look as close as possible to the original, you guys, because obviously, like I said, I created that look a while back. I don't remember exactly every shade I used, but nonetheless. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and create kind of like a half cut crease. I'm gonna go in with this brush here. This is also from Delium Tools. This is actually a lip brush, but I love using it for my cut creases. Just gonna take some of the Catrice liquid camouflage. I don't wanna pick up a ton, and I'm gonna do it, like I said, a half cut crease. So I'm gonna start with my inner corner brush up. I'm going to bring it up slightly past my crease because like I said, I have hooded eyes. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Like as you can see, like the shades are definitely blending into the concealer, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly like white or concealed. We just need something so that the metallic shades pop. Bring it back quite a bit, probably to just right in this outside corner, and then I stop. So let's go ahead and set that down. Just to set the eye, I'm going to go into my Tarte palette here and pick up the shade Solstice, just like a white shadow, and pat that down. All right, perfect. So now we are back to the palette. So the next shade that I actually put on my inner corner here on the lid is gonna be this shade right here. As you can see, it's like the perfect bronzy tone. So I'm gonna actually pick that up on my finger and I'm going to press that on the lid. As you can see, this is like what gives it that bronze pop of color. All right, so I'm gonna kick this up one more notch, you guys. I'm gonna dip into this Tarte Chrome Paint Pot. Now, I did a review on this a while back and I freaking 
hated this but I have figured out how to use it if you put this on top of shadow you have to have some sort of base down it will work a lot better like look at that gold reflection so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just use my finger I'm gonna pat this right on top and focus on the inner corner look at that it just makes it even more metallic beautiful now to highlight the inner corners i'm going to dip in actually to becca champagne pop i like to actually match my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight to what i have on my cheeks and this is what i'm wearing so i'm going to take this pencil brush from lamora this also comes in that set i'm going to pick it up in this little champagne pop i'm just going to focus this on the inner corners let's go ahead and make this even more intense i'm going to spray it with some Mac Fix Plus. There we go. I feel like this looks perfect with this eyeshadow look. The brow bone. So let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. I'm just going to take a flat shader brush like this one here. This is the 773 Shading Blender from Delium Tools. And I'm going to go ahead and start off by dipping in that brown shade that we used to deepen the outer V of the eye. I'm going to kind of do the same thing, but I'm going to keep it again to the outer portion of the eye, really tight to the lash line. Just kind of drag that to about probably like a third of the eye. Right. And then for the other portion of the eye right here, I'm just going to go ahead and actually dip in to this shade here and just keep it very close to the lower lash line. So let's go ahead and focus on the upper lash line. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Rock and Coal liner in the shade Amber Moon. Go ahead and just press this along the top part of the lash line here. I'm not going to do a wing or anything like that. You can add a wing if you would like, but I want to do just a little bit of a line. Too small of a mirror. All right, moving on. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and drag the same shade in the waterline. So I do have a little bit of fallout. I'm just going to go ahead and take this brush here and just kind of whisk that away. It's just a little bit of that gold shade, but nothing major. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so there you have it. That is the finished look. Let me just go ahead and go over the last bit of things that I used. So for mascara, I used none other than the Benefit Roller Lash. And then on the lips, I used the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Straight Up. So this is literally the exact look that you see in my Instagram picture. If you guys like this look, of course, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know down below if this is something that you enjoyed. Again, sound off on what you think about Tutorial Tuesday. Let me know what you think about this look. Do you plan on recreating it? I think it's perfect if you want like a summer night, you're going out on the town, even for like a super glam date night. It's just hot and fiery and bronzy and just stunning. One of my all-time favorite looks. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!